so now let me watch. It's a interesting and He's the CEO of uh, Alpha Sinovic. This is a company you want to watch in the next few years because it's... Uh, it's either going to collapse or good. Very well. And he's uh, it's going to share his story of how he started a company in a downturn such as currently and led it to global heights. So now that you heard Peter Chan talking about it from an investor perspective, it will be interesting to see how how you know, entrepreneur actually sees it. So, wow. Uh, thank you. I didn't prepare any slides because I believe you're going to Google the company you know a lot. So I, I'm going to keep it short and sharp and then you guys can do more question and answers. Uh, before I start, right, I just want to know how many of you intend to have a startup company or be in a startup company? One, two, three, four. Okay, how many of you want to work for VCs? One, two. Then the rest want to take the driver. Okay, so what I'm going to talk about is the long and hard climb as a uh, startup company in Singapore into you know the embryonic stage and then the incubation stage and the road less taken the way that what Peter is saying that for popular right? when popular started 40 years ago he probably went through the same thing so I'm gonna share with you some of this experience of how we started and uh, what kind of experience we actually gone through there are no more VCs here, so I can't more them. <laughs> okay, um, my company is called Alpha Biofuels. It is a company that came out of another company called Alpha Sinovate. Um, Alpha Sinovate was a company that started in way uh, 2001. It was like uh, eight years ago. Uh, I was still a civil engineer, uh, graduated from NTU in the 90s. Uh, and I was very happy because in the 1990s, right, uh, handphones are a luxury item, okay, and it's a big kind of Sony Ericsson you flip, you know. So we have the Sony Ericsson phone and the car to drive because you know, engineer you travel around. It was pretty cool um, as a fresh graduate, and uh, I was working that for for about two three years. We did quite a lot of projects. I did a, a project in we uh, commonly know as the Durian and the Esplanade. I suffered a lot, worked twenty four hours, and then you realize, hey. If I'm going to do this for a long, long time, it's going to be quite boring. Uh. You know, every day I look at this and shouting at the worker and you know, <laughs> filling up forms and ordering concrete. Um, it's not a fun thing to do. So uh, me and a, a very good friend of mine who's an old, old classmate, we sat down one day and uh, we drink a lot of beer. Huh? So we decided, hey, why don't we do something, you know? Why don't we uh, do something so that when we can retire, we can retire quite comfortably. So that was the primary motivation that we wanted to do with. And we started a company called Alpha Sinovate. Uh, at that time, we were all employed. So uh, the typical survival instinct is we'll stay employed, okay? <laughs> and then we'll meet every day to, to, to discuss business plan, to, to do research. So what happened was, for the next six months, we worked like hell at the construction site. At six o'clock or seven o'clock, we say goodbye, and then we drive to McDonald's. and. We'll go to this place, Yuan Ching Road, McDonald's. I'm not sure you know where this is. Very Ulu is a Tang, Dyn Tang Dynasty. It's really, really Ulu, but we like it because it's so Ulu that nobody goes and we can actually have free top up sometimes for, for drinks and stuff like that. Every day at 6 o'clock, we sit there and we start to type business plan and create all sorts of modeling um, and, and find out what we want to do. At the time, we wanted to do biotech. Uh, we wanted to develop a, a virus in Bacteria eating virus, which will solve a lot of antibiotic, antibiotic thing problems. So can you imagine five days a week, right? Every day McDonald's until the auntie right at McDonald's when you see three of us come in, right? She don't have to ask. She just goes to bed and just take out the cheeseburger and the drink. <laughs> we have a system where we don't opt. We we were so sick of the food that we just eat whatever that's cheapest. And it was actually a cheeseburger and cheeseburger and a drink, and the drink should be a coke. And nothing else. So that's how it started. 